There's four little things out there. They're looking at me like, what are you doing? Having breakfast obviously this morning. And so they ordered a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but she ordered some uh, plywood so that we can make about four new hives, which is going to be cool. Um, that at least gets them started. I don't know what she's going to do about frames because we don't have those. Um, but the guy's here to put that together, at least one, and then we're going to put up the observation hive finally. All right. So, got up early this morning, uh, it was great last night, the, this is uh, Wednesday, so um, I have one more morning here and then that's, well, not true, I have two more mornings, but I have one more day, full day here, which is tomorrow, and then I'll leave on Friday morning, but I got up early this morning, uh, you know, it was uh, great last night, there was a storm that came through, so it literally uh, was nice and windy and cool for a long time it was great uh, you know it broke the stale heat and, and everything so it was nice and windy it stayed that way uh, for a long time up until like middle of the morning uh, and then it started to uh, get warm again but that was around the morning time it was still not unbearable heat <clears throat> it wasn't unbearable heat at that point um, so yeah it was it was not so bad but that's been pretty much it okay so this is the location of where we're going to put the uh, actual production hives in this corner here it's pretty well protected it still gets uh, quite a bit of sun as you can see it has a wall here to protect it it has a fence here to protect it and that is going to be a garden there so we think this is uh, actually a good uh, center to put them uh, or a good place to put them um, the entrance should also uh, go out to the south uh, which is the optimal uh, point for the bees so uh, we shall see in terms of uh, uh, you know how many hives we're going to put here but as of right now we're going to start off with two so they're going to be in this general area somewhere All right. and also it doesn't impact anyone as you can see the walls are pretty high so uh, the bees will be able to fly out and up and over these without a problem nothing's going to impact them and it shouldn't uh, get anyone stung in this general area there uh, everyone's well protected and safe however we will have signs that will indicate that there are bees there will be signs on the doors and whatnot that state that there are bees right here uh, there's plenty of water sources around as you can see here's a water hose so we think this is going to be uh, totally fine all right, well, today, <clears throat> sorry again that I'm recording in the dark, but I do some stuff during the day too, but today has been a pretty interesting day. Um, I wouldn't say tough. I mean, it is tough. It is tough. But, um, you know, the, the director has been extremely cranky all day, complaining about everything. And, um, you know, she's a great person overall, but just very, um, have been crabby and cranky all day, irritated, frustrated, and upset. Um, and there's many reasons for that, but I feel that people have to be responsible for their feelings. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. I think you have to be responsible for the way that you react to things that go on in your life. You know, I'm not saying I'm perfect by no means, but there's certain ways you have to conduct yourself. And it's one thing to be angry and upset for a minute, but it's definitely not okay to be angry and upset for an entire day. It, that's just not how it works. 
Um, that's just not the way that you get things done. That's just not the way an adult is supposed to act. Um, it's just not how you do business. So, you know, dealing with that, and then, you know, of course, Noelle's at home by herself, and, uh, you know, she's frustrated too for different reasons, but, you know, it is what it is. So I'm catching grief on both ends, here and there. Um, but I don't want that to overshadow the, the good points. I. Uh, tonight is Wednesday night, so I have one more night here, and then that's it. Um, the good thing is, is that on, um, tomorrow night at this time, I know that pretty much it's almost over, because I have to get up very early in the morning, and, uh, you know, I have to, uh, prepare and get ready for leaving the next day um, because I have to get up at 6 o'clock I think get on the ferry take the ferry over uh, to the mainland and then from there I will take about an hour drive to the city of Port-au-Prince to get on the airport or get into the airport get my ticket go through security and then um, once I get through all that I'll be one step closer to being with my family which is what I want um, I don't know what I do with my wallet. It's here somewhere. I've had my wallet on me literally every second of the day. Oh, it's in there already. So, I can't wait for that to happen. Um, but the students today um, passed the test. So, I, the test was held early, basically, and uh, they all passed. They all passed. And so... I'm happy about that. That's a testament to uh, them really wanting it, and I hope that they do well. I don't know how long I'll stay, continue to do this in Haiti. This might be my last trip. Um, more than likely, it probably is my last trip. Um, but I think that I achieved quite a bit. I got some folks interested in beekeeping. Uh, people who normally would be completely afraid of bees, uh, they now have a new industry. Uh, I donated equipment to them that they'll be able to use um, and be able to do with as they please. So I'm happy about that. I donated a lot of seeds to uh, Greater Good uh, International um, so that this property hopefully can flourish with flowers and that the bees that they get will be able to, to uh, have a a bountiful harvest of food. I hope that the the folks will be able to take the um, the honey that they get and uh, supplement their income. Uh, that's what I'm hoping to do. I hope that they can, uh, you know, barter if need be. You know, uh, trade food for food, trade honey for eggs, or trade honey for whatever. Uh, I hope the greater good can make some money from uh, this as well, hopefully. Um, I hope that's the case. Uh, but for me, I think that uh, it's back to Seattle, obviously. And I think that I have to look at my next steps in terms of what I want to do. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, it was a pretty full day. It was kind of hot today. It's hot right now, too. There's no air. Uh, hopefully, the wind will blow soon, um, and I'll get some air. I think it's starting to kind of kick up, uh, but that would be great. So, anyhow, until next time, I will see you. Take care.